hits my sword, I go down. You didn't calculate nothing. The stage was right here. No one's right here, and you were right here. You just have to get back. The dunk was there, though. That's that's a dirty dunk right there. A dirty dunk on the up of the sword, that's cool. And that's not even a move that spikes. Right? It's, well, it spikes now. <laughs> he has a custom that spikes. Oh, if only we could have customs on there. I think we should do a side event where custom moves are allowed. I just no. see one custom. I think that would be hype. Samus's yeah. spike bomb, the trip bomb, that's all I need. Yeah. That's all I need. Oh, you play Samus? Oh yes. And if, if I could use Shout that. See you. How, how, how are you loving this new buff? We'll do it. Oh, man. It, it's great. What, what are we doing? Are we doing button checks? <laughs> this is either button checks or the most passive play. But yes. Yes. I'm, I'm really loving the Samus so, buffs. So, so this tag is for Zep, for um, Mr. Q. That's for his crew member, Zeppelin. Is there any special reason he's doing it for Zep, or he just chose Zep? Because we're all, we're all playing data players. Oh, okay. They're, you gotta understand, that we're Zep, me, M3, Mr. Q, Miho, and Cindy. I didn't know, I didn't know Miho was picking up uh, Mayo. Does Miho still play Ryu? I've actually never seen him go Ryu, I just heard about him. <laughs> heard about this legendary Ryu. Alright, so we're getting hey, into it. Duncan's a counter pick, right? Yeah, Duncan's yes. a counter pick, Lila's well, a starter. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, also, Dreamland's a counter pick. I swear, we need to put posters up around for so people know what are legal and what's counter. Like, literally, I'm like, I'm like basically a co TO, and like people are arguing to me over what's a starter. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, we need to have that at each set up the little clipboard with what rules, what yeah. are the starters. Yeah, they actually have that in some major tournaments. Yeah. What is you would think we would all know the rules by now. So oh, here we go. This is death. Oh, yeah. No, it's not quite. Right. It, 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 it was uh, banned at a complex. And they're so no, crazy. And it looks like they do so much more damage. Like, I feel like oh. he should be at 80. Right? They look so crazy and they happen off, you know, off screen too. You know, you're up in the blast zone where you can't even see what's going on. Just walks away from the down smash. <laughs> Just <laughs> casually <laughs> walks away. Casually, with the neutral air. Casually struts. Gonna readjust himself. Uses the get up invincibility to dodge the PK fire there. That's good. Uh, slightly for Daniel. slightly for Bayonetta, but I do feel like uh, at higher percentage it's a lot easier for Ness to kill. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can't count out Ness in his Oh, this might be it. Nope. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, 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 nice and there to get out of it. He's got 99%. <laughs> 99% to Bayonetta, 71. Bars. Ooh, this is the grab. Oh, goes for the force mess there. Neutral. I mean, that was just a hard recon wrong. This whole time, Mr. Q is just tacking on a little bit. I have of no damage. idea. I have no idea what traded with that side be there. Ooh, nice air dodge on those bullets. Oh, he's Swoops able to clip him, him, clip him right out of there. So he's gonna have to recover with his. He's gonna witch time it. That's no. what I thought he was gonna do. I thought he was gonna go down and witch time it and do something stylish. But this, this works too. I, I mean, that's real. It's really scary to go down and challenge a move like that. Like, especially, like, against a player like uh, Future. Because I played him several times with my Ike, and I got him, I got countered him once in one game. I countered his up B, and from that point on, he started getting to the point way down there where I couldn't counter it and didn't have an angle. He's, like, he's really, yeah, he's really good at adapting to ways that he dies. Oh, yeah, Future, super skilled player. Same nice with Mr. back Q, here. Both of these guys, really talented. Yeah, uh, Mr. Q actually recently had, um, I believe it was two kids ago, he took out a Riki. Oh, nice. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with who he is. Sonic player. Arakai. Mr. Q. Arakai. Arakai. It's spelled Ariki, but he's... No, I don't know. <laughs> it's spelled that way. I say it phonetically like that, but I'm butchering the pronunciation. But it's all good. Back to the match. Uh, I wouldn't say this is out of Ness's range of comeback, especially with uh, in the hands of Future. De Future is definitely really good at racking up damage. Future, I mean, yeah, one thing you always got to respect Ness's back throw, especially on Bayonetta. She's rather light, so... Yeah. So 100% close to the ledge, a back throw will seal it off. Oh yeah, definitely. No, no, with this much rage, he probably only has to get around 85, 90. That's true, that's just true. And Bayonetta if you can get him, if you can get him on that platform, probably around 60, 70. <laughs> I believe this is Ness's stage for the reason of that platform just being there. Get some, get some early back. Ooh, mashed out of that, nice and cool. Oh, he, I mean, he wasn't getting, getting anything out of that throw anyway. The up oh. air? No. no. I, he should have up air there. I agree with you. If he would have up air, I think he was fearing uh, witch time. That's true, yeah. Uh, a witch time at that height would have been over. Yeah. Good dodge. Back Fade throw. back. Ooh. Because you can see them, man. At 72, still almost blasting him. Uh, well, he didn't even go off stream. Off stream. 
your one game. Yeah, it sucks. sucks. What? That's all your pup. Oh, yeah. Your pup, man. Oh, Oh, well, well, why are we being so Oh, five. back throw. Oh, forward throw. I was gonna say back throw, but I took it. Yeah. With with almost max rage. He's getting him away. The next grab should end it for next. Yeah, they're both at this kill percentage. You're both of them. Oh, kill that kill. was the grab there. Is oh no, that, that won't kill. That no. won't kill. It's not center stage like that. This has got to be careful. If he gets another one at the edge like that, for both of them, it could be game over. Ness max rage oh, with 150%. Uh, one thing Future's good about is not going out and fishing for the grabs. Like, he knows he knows he's at max rage. He knows it'll kill. He's like, if the grab comes to me, I'm going to take it. But I'm going to look for other no, no, because and that oh, that's it. it. That's I'm game. Sure. I'm sure. I didn't even write down my name. That back throw, oh, Max Rage. Yeah, he's over 100%. No, no, no dodging. I didn't even write down my name. Everybody wrote down the name. Everybody that said, oh, okay, I'm going to write down the name. Yes, with the bat. Nobody Styling. wrote down the name. Not even mine. If I would have wrote down my name, I would have That was a good first game between the two. It was a bit of a nail bite. I didn't write nobody's name. I'm calling, calling John's there. All right, we're running it back. <laughs> Just like that. Here you go. Play bucket. Oh, thanks. Before I forget. <laughs> Oh. Can we talk about how big this pot is today? We got over four hundred dollars. Wow, really? Well, four hundred dollars in entry fees. Four hundred dollars entry fees. Uh, of course, we're gonna take a cut from Elite Entertainment. A little bit goes to the venue, and then the pot should be well over a hundred dollars. Is that future? Yeah, future took game one. Have we have we done the math on how much the pot is yet? Nope. Well, the winner of this match is guaranteed money today. <laughs> and they will definitely make back their venue fee. Oh yeah, definitely. They'll be going easy. positive. They'll be getting that top professional oh, next PK, their name soon. PK, PK Flash, best movie used in neutral ever. <laughs> I'm surprised. Normally when Future gets like a throw like that, he'll usually go right for the PK Thunder. Just it's gonna be it converting. Ooh. Nope. Not able to get that final hit off to then convert back. Into Good jump out of that PK fire. Sometimes that move it's easy to get off. Sometimes it's like the hardest thing in the world to get off. It all depends on like where you get hit in it, where you get trapped by it. They say you're supposed to DI up and away and jump. Um, I've had my jump stolen by it and I was stuck in it and he just kept PK firing me over and over again when I was wrong. <laughs> I, he literally got me from 0 to 120% and then, then, rough, then he forward smashed me. That's one of uh, Future's favorite edge guard techniques, just sit there face the wrong way and down smash. It's such a good move for Ness because it's very safe and it comes out really fast and he doesn't have much end lag. That might take it. Not quite. Ooh, almost, almost. For if he was closer to the edge, it would have. Yeah, man, that a light. He's got to seal off the stock. Now that he has to throw a little bit staled, he has to he has to throw out a few more moves. You have to throw out ten moves in order to unstale a move, and they all have to connect with some sort of object. So even though Bats within activated, that unstales the move. If he throws out a move against that balloon, it will unstale a move. That's interesting. I did not know that. I did not know it had to hit something for it to reset it. Yeah. So, I mean, that down throw kills. <laughs> He was at like 100. We learned new though. things, but I mean, why choose down throw instead of forward throw? This is true. Is that not going to kill at 100? No, no rage. Oh, no this right, this right, no rage. I feel like he saved him. Yeah, right. He like almost brought him back up to it. Oh, he got that up here though. That Head game too strong. Is so good. Head it game is so too strong. strong. <laughs> is this going to be it? No, he got the blue though. That's wins. He got the blue. He's trying to, no, he didn't try to absorb it. When, Ness, when Future does that, what that move does is it stops his momentum. So he's just trying to control where he is. He, he knows better than trying to absorb the Cheeto move. and Dirks, number two. Oh, Fox Dittos. Oh, the year was 20XX. Actually, no, the year is still 599. The year is still 599, yes. Oh, that would have been a sick conversion there. It's very similar how game one started uh, was uh, uh, a sizable lead for Bayonetta, but Ness had the rage and he was able to grab back throw. That down air still kills. Ooh, kills nice. Yeah, that move, it's so weird too because like it kills you in a way that looks like you're going to live. That's one thing that's so disrespectful about Bayonetta. Here, I'm going to wish time you. I'm going to up smash you at 140, but it's going to make you move really slow so I'm let you think that you can live. Just give you that small glimmer of hope and then reality sets back in. Yeah, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm at 150 and that's a strong move. <laughs> That was a good second game. Tying it up 1 1. What's wrong with the stream? What's wrong with the stream? Nobody's in it. Oh. 
I'm in it. I can see a little bit of the green behind me. I got a green outline. We have this too, which we have no idea what it is. Yeah, just like a mock. Oh, this is a touch screen, right? Yeah. That's somebody fingernailed right there, you know? No, but it, does, it only shows up when we're on this screen. Oh, that's actually. That's okay, that's even weird. <laughs> It's really strange. It's almost like something smudged in the texture that we have to de designate for the texture. So we're in a game Adam. three right now, Mr. Cubana versus Adam. Future's Nest. Did we already do the raffle? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I lost. <laughs> in case you were wondering, Me I did not, not get attention. it. It's all good. No, there were literally two people in the raffle. We both had the same number of tickets. I lost. I call, I call rigged. Lots of footsies going on here. Uh, small lead for Vanna. Festival also referred to festival third person. I don't know. What if he doesn't know me? <laughs> we know you by now. Fifty dollar bonus to anybody in Axel now. Festival, the guy with the with the hairdo of Michael Kelso from that 70s show. He's good. He's rocking it though. I mean, if he wants to get on stream and show everybody his hair, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be opposed. Well, he actually doesn't look like Michael Kelso. He just looks like he belongs on that 70s show. He fits in with the characters of the time. This is a cool guy. I always have good, cool conversations with him while we're playing. That's always fun, fun when you can converse with the person you're playing with. Sometimes, you know, it gets a little a little too hype. Both of you guys are silent, yeah. just thinking way too hard. It's nice to be able to, to, to laugh and enjoy the match with your yeah. opponent. I had a lot of fun matches today, actually. Yeah, a lot been, of fun it's matches. It's been a good tournament. I only played three different sets, but every one I had a great time. Yep. I got four sets. Well, I got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sets in, among the three different events I entered. Oh, nice. Did you also do the poke in? I did poke in, doubles, <laughs> and that? singles. Um, I pushed buttons a lot. I pushed a lot of buttons. Buttons did things, and I lost. And you got body. You yeah, got body. Those people push buttons. I got, I got one perfect, though. You still got I got body. a perfect. Shut up! <laughs> but on day one, you got a perfect. Yeah. By day one, she had to lure, though. day one, you got body. <laughs> all right, all right. We get we get distracted from what's going on on the screen though. So the most we got we got Max Rage and S. Uh, that uh, if he were anywhere but on the ground, that would have killed. <laughs> Ooh, oh. Nice dodge right there to, to not get grabbed because that would have been the kill for sure. Oh, Ooh, the counter grab yeah. from Bayonetta as coming back to the legs. That was yeah. nice. That's one thing that like he talks about with Ness a lot. He's super floaty, so it's easy to do that to him if he doesn't sweep off the ledge. Yeah, just being and able to rack up so much extra. Is this best out of five? Uh, not yet. Is this best of three or best of five? Three. Best of three. So this is the deciding game. Oh, getting good extra credit in here. Ooh. Will we back air? No. Oh, let's shrug bails. Going for that ledge trump. Good buffered roll on there by Future. Future plays enough with three. He knows what a ledge trump is and what it looks like when it's being set up. So he knows how to react to it. Those magnet heads were insane. He like stopped his jump at the bottom corner of the stage. <laughs> Smash four magnet heads, um, you gotta love it. Bat within. Bat within is probably the most stupid thing in this game. Mr. Q running away a little bit with this. Future's gonna have to play really patient if he wants to get this next stock off. Yep, he's definitely boning to the teacher, getting that extra credit. And the wish and time, it. and he ended the game, knew right there that it was over. Uh, that's a sad way to go out, but that was a good game between the two. He could have missed! <laughs> Mr. Q versus Future with the...